this is Scrapbook Boxing, Museum of the Forgotten Fistical Series. We're going to continue with Grudge Match, Volume Number 11. Now, this fight took place in Madison Square Garden, June 16, 1983. Phenomenal junior middleweight championship out between junior middleweight champion Davey Moore and lightweight champion slash welterweight champion Roberto Duran. Now, Roberto Duran was very disgraced to his country when he quit in a New Orleans match with Sugar Ray Leonard in 1980. The infamous, no mas, no mas. And he would have to redeem himself with a fight of significance winning a world championship. Now, he had faced Papino Cuevas January 29th, that year of 1983. But he needed a world title. So he would take on Davey Moore, June 16th, at Madison Square Garden. That happened to be his birthday. So he had the entire crowd out for him. And I want to go through that fight with you, but I want to go through it right here on the Museum of the Forgotten Physical Series. Roberto Duran, born June 19, 1951 in Panama City, Panama. He stood 5 foot 7 inches and weighed 119 to 176 pounds. He was managed by Tony Garcia, Tony Gonzalez, he was trained by Ray Arcel and Pepe Correa. His fight record was 103, 16 losses, 70 knockouts. Roberto Duran was a very strong and powerful puncher who once knocked out a horse. He would fight great fighters such as Kim Buchanan, Saul Mamby, Estefan De Jesus, fought greats such as Sugar Ray Leonard, Iron the Blade Barkley, Thomas the Hitman Hearns, Carlos Palomino, Papino Cuevas, and Davey Moore. He was elected into the Ring Hall of Fame June 10th, 2007. Davey Moore, whose nickname was simply The Bronx, was born June 9th, 1959 in the Bronx, New York. He died June 3rd, 1988. He was 20 years of age when he died. He stood 5 foot 10 inches and weighed 156 pounds and had 180 inch reach. Total box of 23, he won 18, he won 14 by the knockout route and lost 5. His winnings were 4 New York Golden Gloves. Now that's fascinating. Mark Breland had 6. He won 135 pound sub novice championship. 1977, 78, 79. He would win a 147-pound Open Class Championship. Fascinating. More trained in Marciano's Youth Center in the Bronx, New York. By Leon Washington, a former middleweight pro. Moore earned a spot on the 1980 U.S. team in Moscow. But it was a boycott, and he was unable to go to that particular team and enter those games. Moore would defeat Kevin Rooney in 1981. Moore had 6-0. Rooney had 15-0. And, and Rooney would be knocked out by Davey Moore in the seventh round. Fascinating. Davey Moore was scheduled to face Tony Ayala. But Ayala was convicted of rape and burglary and was sentenced to 35 years in prison. Davey Moore would then challenge Two-time uh, champion, Roberto Duran. Madison Square Garden. Take one of the most terrific beatings in the entire history of the game. Let's take a look at that fight. Now you see here, Davey Moore being out-hustled by Roberto Duran. Roberto Duran gets in a stiff left jab. Davey Moore is unable to block these punches because Roberto Duran has a lot of experience and knows how to set traps for his opponent. Davey Moore is taking a beating here. I was at that particular fight at Madison Square Garden, and it happened to be Roberto Duran's birthday. And what was phenomenal is that everybody was there for Davey Moore. But they all cheered for Roberto Duran.
this was a beating. Because Roberto Duran was set traps for Davey Moore. He would stay on the inside. And he would allow Davey Moore to throw punches. And he would ride with the punches. And his hair was soaking wet so it looks like he was hit hard. But he would come right back with a counter punch. Every once in a while he would grab Davey Moore by the shoulder blades. By the hips. Put pressure on him. He would bang his arms. He would spin him around. He would allow Davey Moore to throw combinations at him, blocking and parrying all of them. Davey Moore would continue to punch because it looked like Roberto Duran was taking punches. Little did Davey Moore know he was being set up for fatigue in the later rounds. You see, Davey Moore didn't have the experience. He had 12 fights. And Roberto Duran has been through it all. So that night in Madison Square Garden, 1983, was a suicidal match for Davey Moore. And as you can see here, Davey Moore sitting down, as, as they say, the seat of his pants. When Roberto Duran threw the left hook, Davey Moore's mouthpiece shifted from left to right in his mouth. Totally unusual when a force is coming from left to right. Fascinating fight with Roberto Duran. This was a treacherous beating, one writer reported. But Roberto Duran would redeem himself with his countrymen. And as you can see here, he scored an eight-round knockout in Madison Square Garden. Davey Moore was unable to get up. He would be counted out. It was one of the most memorable moments of my life. I was able to get a seat 10 feet away from the ring. And this was a boxing lesson beyond boxing lessons. As you can see here, Davey Moore stretching out a right hand, Roberto Duran turning with the punch. No connection at all. And he would come right back with that right hand you see by his waistline. Come up and he would tag Davey Moore. He did this repeatedly. Sugar Ray Leonard was the commentator for that fight. And at the end of the fight, Davey Moore ran up to Sugar Ray Leonard. And Leonard didn't want any smoke at all. He says, I'm a commentator now, as I heard. So Roberto Duran becomes the junior middleweight champion of the world. He's being held up by Sal Mamby who was the junior welterweight champion of the world when he took the title from Luke Costello. Roberto Duran, one of the greatest fighters in the entire history of the game. I have him ranked number three lightweight champion of all time. Fascinating fighter. Would have held up in any era. He was a very special fighter. Knew the tricks of the trade. He just had too much pride, and that was his problem. It worked for him on a positive, and didn't work for him on a negative. But Roberto Duran was an all-time great. Salute to Davey Moore. Unfortunate accident at home. Repairing his car. When a car ran over him. That he was working on. But he was an outstanding fighter. I used to watch him. In the gymnasium in the Bronx. With Iran Barkley. And Dennis Milton. I would see Camacho in the gym. 
I would see Mitch Blood G, uh, Green in the gym. A lot of great fighters. A salute to these great fighters. Scrapbook Boxing Museum of the Forgotten Fisticuff Series. All great fights will never be forgotten. All great fighters will never be forgotten on my channel. Salute to my subscribers. Thanks for hanging in there with me. Peace.